In this video, we're going to be making this awesome closet. It has shelves in the middle, short hanging on the right side, and we are going to have tall hanging on the left with a special treat of a removable shelf in the middle so you can expand as your clothing wardrobe expands as well. Let's get started. We're down here in my wood shop. I've already cut my boards to the width that I like. I have a specific width that I like to work with in my closets. If you want to know those specific dimensions, click the link above to download the plans. It gives you all those details that you need and also it provides you access to any questions you may have about this build. So what I did uh, is I took a four by eight sheet of three quarter inch plywood and ran it on my table saw over there and cut them to the width that I like. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use my miter saw and cut the lengths that I need and start assembling. Let's go do that. Okay, so we're gonna install the shelves and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna Craig jig it. That's a term that I like to use, but actually we're gonna be using the Craig Jig R3 to create pocket holes. It's the pocket holes that actually we're gonna be making and that's gonna hold the shelves in place. Craig Jig makes a really great tool for that. It's now become a term. Let's just Craig Jig it. Well, that's what I like to say anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, create these pocket holes and get those shells installed and start assembling. So I've laid everything out on my table over here. We're gonna be assembling the shelves soon, but before we do, I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna use a paint roller, it's super simple. I'm gonna paint one side, let it dry, flip it over and paint the other side, and then we're going to put it all together. All right, well, let's get painting. Okay, now that my boards are dry, I'm gonna be making the lines for where I'm gonna put the shelves in. I decided I want my shelves to be every 12 inches. So I'm gonna mark those out on these boards here and then I'm just gonna Craig jig them in and start assembling the shelf for the toys or the clothes or whatever. I also have to account that there's gonna be a three quarter inch difference between this line and this line. So I'm gonna measure another line uh, three quarter inches down and from that I'm gonna make another 12 inches. That's just, don't make the mistake of measuring from the top line. Otherwise you'll be off by three quarters of an inch all the way down. Okay, we're about to Craig jig uh, the shelf in. This is the first shelf that's going in. I've enlisted my dad here is my helper and one trick that I've learned to hold this in place while you're Craig jigging is to use a clamp. So let's put the clamp in and then we'll start using some screws and tightening everything up. I always like to put my torque on uh, so I don't go all the way through and it stops it. So usually 11 is where I like it. It was that simple. Now I'm gonna take the clamps off and I'm gonna do this for all the shelves on one side. So that's four times on this side. And then what I'm gonna do is flip this side over and then Craig jig the other side. And then you have your shelves. Okay, so we finished building the main portion of our closet, the shelves. And you saw that technique and how we did it using Craig jigs and pocket holes and all those different types of techniques. What I have to do now is just sand the face of it and then I'm gonna use a hand brush to paint the little edges, make it a little clean. If you want it super sharp, you can always use a product called edge banding. It's a, like a super thin strip of wood that has like a, a glue on the back side of it and you use an iron 
and you just take that and just iron it on. Uh, if you want to see how I did that, I used edge banding in my pantry video. So if you haven't, check out the pantry video to see how you can use edge banding. I'll put that link in the description below. But for this project, I'm just going to sand it and just paint it. It'll look really nice. And then uh, after that, I'm going to take this upstairs to my guest bedroom and do the installation. It's going to come in three parts. This is the shelf. The next part will be the top, and the next part will be a side shelf that I over, have over here for your short hanging, and then over on this side will be the long hanging. So instead of uh, me taking all the time to show you how I'm sanding, all you guys know how to sand and paint, I'm gonna cut that part out, and we're just gonna go straight upstairs to the installation. Okay, my closet shelves are in. Now what I have to do is I have to put the top piece on, but before I do that, I have to uh, attach some brackets at either end of the shelf, uh, on this side and on this side. So let me take the camera in here and show you what that's gonna look like. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna sit right like this, and I'm gonna put a screw in here, and I'll probably put a temporary screw right here because there's no stud there. In order to get this to adhere to the wall correctly, I'm using liquid nails. So liquid nails will bond to the wall and hold this in place and it'll give me plenty of strength and support to hold any weight that's on top of the shelf. So that's how I'm going to hold the top shelf in place on either side of the wall where there is no support. Sometimes you just got to make your own. All right, well, let me show you how to install this. I'm trying to find a place to put this. Okay, so we have the liquid nails. It's all spread out on this piece of wood. Now I'm just gonna line it up here and screw it in. Let me get my screwdriver and my nail. Okay, that's pretty much it. You just have to let that sit and cure. When it does, it's ready to hold the support. I'm gonna do the other side, and then I'll show you how the top gets clamped down and attached. Okay, I just put the top shelf in. Now I have to secure it to those supports that I put on the outside and to the shelves right in the middle. Let me show you how I do that. So let me show you what I was doing. I was screwing the top here, you can see the screws, right into the top of the shelving. All right, so I'm down here, uh, I'm installing the bottom shelf that goes across for the short hanging. I have a little strip of wood that I'm gonna put on right here. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go to the wall. This is the bottom shelf. This one's the removable shelf. Uh, that's just for flexibility later down the road. And uh, there you have it. It's done, super simple. And now, what we have to do is hang the, the rods from here to there, and let me show you how to do that. So when I build a closet, I like using the heavy duty, ultra robust um, hanging sockets, I guess is what you call them. Uh, I picked these up at the store. Uh, I like them because they're metal, they're heavy duty, and they're white. And I have never had a problem with these failing or causing me issues down the road. So this is what we're going to be installing for our clothes to hang in the closet. I've marked everything and now I just have to screw it in. All right, it's that simple. I already did the other side. So now let me just put the rod in. Done. Now I have to do this two more times, one for the bottom one that I have below here, and then one for the other side. And then the closet will be complete. All right, the closet's done. It came out great. You have short hanging on this side, 
We have shelves in the middle, and we have tall hanging on this side. If you like this closet design, click the download the plans button right here, and you can build it for yourself. You can make modifications to it if you want, but it'll give you all the dimensions that you need to make this closet. And if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. It helps me, though, know that you like this type of content and want to see more. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'd appreciate that. All right, well, I'll see you on our next build. I'll see you later.